kill you for what you've done. <laughs> That's the spirit, boy! Show me your kill face! Come at me with everything you've got! It's happened. Nagisa snapped. All right, let's be honest here for a second. Sure, we all want to kill him, but Nagisa might do it. Can't say I saw it coming. No, someone has to stop this. Get over yourself, dumbass! Yeah, don't think I missed the look you gave me when he blew up the antidote. Screw your pity! Quit wasting your energy worrying about what's going on with other people and focus on you! Look, the virus is a lie! I'll be fine! He's playing you for an idiot! What are you saying? Are you sick? Murder is murder. Even with a piece of shit like this evil son of a bitch, he's not worth it! Give in to the bloodlust and you're no better than him! He's absolutely right, Nagisa. Listen to him. Killing this man won't solve anything. Blind rage is not a moral guide. In any event, he's likely bluffing about the antidote. We need only consult the poisoner downstairs. Do not stoop to Takaoka's level. Simply render him unconscious. Shut your damn mouth! You're taking all the fun out of everything! If we're gonna get the most out of this, he's gotta come at me with intent to kill! Part of the process is bloodlust unbound! He has to feel it or I can't properly humiliate him! How the hell else am I gonna patch up my self-esteem? Nagisa, please, take up Tarasika's stun gun. Heed the words of a friend before you give credence to an enemy. Resist the anger. Weigh your options. Ask, what within myself does this man have claim on? Tarasika! What the? You're as hot as a combustion engine. Dude, how'd you make it so far like this? Who cares? Don't look at me. Look at them. Uh, the octopus is half right. You ain't gotta resist the anger. You control it. Don't we look vicious? Question, sir? Why did Nagisa put the stun gun away? <laughs> so you're opting for the knife. Good on you. I knew you'd see the light. Wanna know a little secret? I didn't blow up every vial of the antidote. Now either you come at me and your pals keep a respectful distance, or what's left of their <gasps> chances of survival goes bye-bye. Everyone infected will die! Hear that, Karasuma? It's just me and the boy! <clears throat> This stuff takes a lot to cook up under ideal conditions! Now sure there's not enough for everyone, but saving some's better than saving none! <laughs> Mr. Kurosama, I hate to ask this of you, but if at any moment you believe Nagisa's life to be in jeopardy, please do not hesitate to shoot Takaoka. He usually has a sixth sense about where things are headed, so for him to ask me that, we're in trouble. Deep trouble. 
course we are. Even I can see the writing on the wall. We got the better of three professional freelance assassins on our own terms. But this is different. Here, we're playing by his rules. Nagisa has absolutely no idea the world of hurt he's in for. <laughs> Ha! That all you've got? Where's that homicidal rage now? You're on your ass, you little snot rag. Takaoka is a man possessed. He's in battle mode. Years of elite military training cut through the insanity. No attack is going to slip through his defenses. His physique, his skills, his experience. <laughs> This isn't like scoring high on the finals. This is life or death. So not a fair match. Yeah, no kidding, right? He doesn't have a prayer. Oh, hey now, don't peter out. We're just getting started. That's right. We haven't incorporated this old girl into the mix. This knife comes to me in my dreams every night. Hand in hand with that smile. The precise moment my peace of mind flew off the rails. Well, tonight I won't give that smug little pipsqueak the satisfaction. I'll split you from groin to grin and savor the screams. I'll sever your hands and feet and mount them above my mantle like trophies. Shoot him, Mr. K! Please, Nagisa will die! That man means every word of what he says! Stop. Let Nagisa handle it. Dude, do you see the shape he's in? At least if I was in there, Takaoka wouldn't have it so easy. You think so? Shows what you know. If you didn't ditch training so much, you'd have a clue. This fight ain't over yet, pal. Just watch. He's about to pull out the big guns. This technique, it never fails? Don't be fooled. It only looks easy. Therein lies the beauty. I've used it many a time in field. Nothing compares for getting out of pinch. The technique only works under certain conditions, however. Three criteria must be met. First, have at least two weapons ready hand. Second, you must be pitted against an expert. Third, and most important, your opponent must already know what it means to face death. Excellent. We're three for three. <clears throat> what the... Congratulations, Mr. Takaoka. You get to be my beta test. What is he doing? You must understand the nature of this move. It's something of a paradox, you see. Conditions aren't often favorable. But while I call it an insta-kill technique, in all honesty, that is a misnomer. Employing it doesn't mean your opponent will die instantly, particularly when their defenses are impregnable. That said, if you find yourself painted into a corner, and at some point you will, do this correctly, and it sets the stage for an instant kill. That sounds pretty useful. How's it work? From a standstill position, move quickly. As far as you can, as loudly as you can. <laughs> Come on! Do it! Careful. Time it just after dropping the knife. The closer I get, the more focused he'll be on the blade. Drop my weapon, and his attention follows him. Both caught in midair for just a fraction of a second. Out comes the crucial second blade. No! This isn't happening! The run got me again! Go, that's how it's done. 
One good jolt and he'll be out like a light bulb. Tase the psychotic rat bastard. <laughs> This man taught me bloodlust. Taught me that sometimes anger is good, sometimes not. He taught me the importance of having friends to pull you out of your own head. I know what it's like to be hit. To be in a real fight. All because of this man. He's done some awful things. There's no denying that. But in a weird way, he does deserve my respect. He's a teacher. Please, no. I've learned something about myself in all this. Whatever you're about to do, don't do it with that look on your face. Oh, God! I'll be hunted by that smile to the day they put me in the ground! Mr. Takaoka, thank you for everything. Nice work. Are you okay, Nagisa? Sure. Well done, Nagisa. <laughs> I'm proud of you. For the first time in a while, I had no idea how things would end. Thanks. But what are we going to do now? Everybody else is still infected with the virus. The antidote Takaoka didn't blow up isn't enough. <sighs> we'll figure something out. But first, let's get off of this roof. Wait here for the chopper. I'll go collect smog. Ha! <laughs> Please. The antidote won't do you any good. Look at you brats. You really figured on getting out of this situation with your lives? The man who hired you's been defeated. Let it go. You no longer have a dog in this fight. <laughs> I'm almost fully recovered from the gas. And these kids are strong, believe me. I suggest we be reasonable and stop this before anyone else gets hurt. Yeah. All right. I'll make you wish you hadn't! Wait. Come again? No worries. You don't have to bother with us. Our contracts don't cover avenging our employer. Anyway, as I was saying, the antidote would only be useful to you if you'd actually been poisoned. Uh -huh. Well, technically you were, but not that bad. You know that bug you can get eating oysters on the half shell? I gave you a perfected version of that old war horse. It ought to flush out of your systems in about 30 hours or so. Unpleasant, but not fatal. Now this sucker is what our boss wanted us to use. <sighs> If I actually had, a <laughs> different story altogether. After we got the job, the three of us talked it over and hatched a plan. The boss's idea, you know, it seemed too harsh. We figured the handoff would play out just as well if you only thought you were in danger. And about a food poisoning certainly makes you feel like death warmed over, so win-win! Since when does a hired killer have scruples? Isn't going against your client bad for the bottom line? Sweetheart, we take pride in what we do, but money isn't the be-all, end-all. A client's needs are always considered carefully, and we do aim to please. We blow the antidote up, right in front of their shocked, bedraggled little faces. How sweet the moment will be when all hope is lost! But when we realized he never intended on giving you the antidote, it was either we try to live with ourselves after having offed a bunch of innocent junior high kids, or we take out a hit on our reputation. Seemed like a fairly straightforward ethical decision to us. And there's always a way to bounce back if you're clever. So, guess this job was a wash, but at least none of you are going to die because we don't have scruples. Here, give that supplement to your buddies, and make sure they get plenty of rest. They'll probably wind up feeling better than they did before this all started. Thank you, gentlemen. But I'll believe it after I've seen those kids make a full recovery. In the meantime, I'm afraid it's protocol to detain you for questioning. Uh... Yeah, okay. If you wouldn't mind making it quick so we can move on to the next job, that'd be great. You disappoint me. Hmm? I thought you'd at least want a grudge match between the two of us. You're a samurai. Isn't your honor threatened by hot sauce? Part of the samurai code is not to kill people out of spite. 
I'm content to wait for the day someone puts a price on your head, hun. Cause it'll happen. Guarantee it. Let this be a lesson to you. You want a rematch? Make it to the big time! Become a worthy target! Then we'll come back and give you all the assassination grand tour! And just like that, they're gone. Not sure if what they left us with was a warning or a compliment. Oh! A single buzz from Karasuma. That's the signal they've made it out. Boys, I have the sudden urge to walk naked by the ocean. Would one of you be kind enough to drive me to a beach? That's it. Our big infiltration mission is over. And no one, not the other guests, not the staff, suspects a thing. Hey, Jurassica. Mm -hmm. I owe you big time. I was on the verge of a bad choice. So thanks for yelling at me. <laughs> it's hard enough to kill the octopus without one of us being taken out of the equation. <laughs> Yeah, guess so. So now, we go back to our hotel. Tell the others they're gonna be fine. Then we put this whole day behind us and catch up on our sleep. Because seriously, I am friggin' exhausted. Oh man, that was one crazy day, huh? I'm just glad we got through it okay. And I'm just glad you knew how to handle yourself. Uh, me too. You're such a trouble magnet, Nagisa. You know we worry about you. <laughs> Morning. Well, evening, really. So, how are you guys feeling? Great, thanks. School jerseys. <laughs> you too, huh? We're the only ones on the resort now. Might as well be comfy. Designing a new outfit for just one scene is too much of a pain anyway. Who are you talking to? So is Koro Sensei really in there? It won't work, but at least he's under strict supervision till he reverts back to normal. Then back to the drawing board. Mr. Karasim has been orchestrating the whole thing. I swear, does Mr. K ever sleep? He's awesome. What's a secret? Because if I can be like that ten years from now, I'll be set. Something to shoot for. Hey, Professor Bitch is pretty awesome, too, if you look hard enough. Same thing with the assassins at the hotel. I mean, you gotta admire the discipline it takes to be that highly skilled. And the philosophy. Not coach. to mention the work ethic. Mm, true that. Personally, as long as I don't grow up to be like Takaoka, I'll be happy. In a way, I suppose that's what growing up is. Knowing who to look up to and who to ignore. Sometimes the difference is night and day. Sometimes not so much. Uh, uh, the sensei exploded! Did we get him? Right. As if we don't already know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> You've suffered in the shadow of my cowardice, and I'm sorry. But consider, not only have you faced an array of fearsome foes, you did so with unquestionable style. Oh, there you are, sir. Good to have you back. With all due good respect, morning! we like this form better. Indeed. And a good morning to you. Now, what do you say we get this vacation back on track? Sure. Yeah, I think it's a little late for that. We go back tomorrow morning. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but there's so much fun in the sun to be had now that I'm fully mobile again. Naturally. There's not a second to waste, children. Summer vacation with your Koro Sensei is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We must milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> What are you doing, Karma? Taking your advice, Teach. Gotta strike when the iron's hot. <laughs> well played, my boy. Wait for the target to let us down. Ah, what the now it's summer vacation. No time like the present, right? What do you say, Nagisa? Feel like emptying a few rounds? <laughs> well then, girls. Who would we be if we didn't make the most of things? Yay! Let's have fun! Sunset straight up! You know, I'm finally filling up to a little dip. Was that under your uniform? No one told me! Yay! Splash attack! Me too! Me too! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, never mind! Terrible idea! Thank you, no! Well, there goes that. Yes! This is what I'm talking about! This is how it should be! Here I come, ladies! Geronimo! Oh, shrinkage! Don't forget there's a fireworks display after this! We don't want to miss it! Go, we have to keep to the itinerary! Let go, let go! Of course that didn't work. Is that it, sir? 
Should we pack in our demolition equipment and head out? Yeah, might as well. So that's how it is, huh? You're suddenly too good to include me on your day at the beach? A girl's got feelings, you know. I thought we were friends. Is that a bikini? Or a cry for help? Ah, shut your pie holes! Hey, let's ditch the brats, yeah? Just us? I saw this adorable little spot up the way that's nice and private. I'd rather not. <gasps> Just when we start thinking, you're not a Johnny bitch. Johnny, they go there! <laughs> you want bitch? I'll show you, bitch! I'm running up to here with this arrogant little pain in the ass. Oh, where are you going? You're running away? You've done well, my boy. Kunugi Gauka Junior High, Class 3E. Yep, we're assassins. And our target? Our teacher. <laughs> All right, people, let's get started, shall we? If you thought the first term was a doozy, wait till you see what I've got in store this time around. That's the way it goes in our assassination classroom. The bell rings, another day begins. Shooting star, hello shooting star. 